So this is inside the HCH2 uh, BCM uh, module, or it probably maybe even have combined functions and maybe also the uh, MCM as well. Uh, anyway, this is uh, uh, it's quite a small unit and uh, this is smaller than a uh, uh, standard MCM. It's about sort of two thirds of the size. And you can see it's got the traditional orange high voltage taps input and 11 tap sensing uh, circuits there. So this would be um, equally hackable with the resistor matrix uh, that we're familiar with, the BCM fooler, but you just need 11 channels instead of 10. Um, so there's no reason why you probably couldn't do a basic LTO uh, conversion on uh, an HCH2 if you had the right voltage range uh, LTO packs. With the HCH2 we can uh, control the uh, state of charge or we can continually reset it anyway using uh, a modified OBD2 C and C and we can get some basic um, information and we can also actually read the voltage taps on the HCH2 um, with the CAN OBD2 C and C. Um, so yes you could, well, if you had an equally um, an equal number of um, LTO cells that divided by 11. So for instance you could perhaps have uh, 44 or 48 yeah, 48 cells, uh, so that's not quite enough probably, so you might have to have more than that. But um, yeah, and you, if you can divide your number of cells by 11, then you could use this voltage monitoring to see the voltage on the 11 taps if you didn't want to use a BCM fooler. So there are possibilities there, but a BCM fooler would allow you to use however many cells you wanted. Uh, and uh, then you can then keep resetting the state of charge. So that's interesting. So the in effect, that is the HCH2. Uh, BCM maybe has some combined MCM functions but it looks pretty much like the BCM and uh, I shall now look at inside the last part which is the main uh, motor drive module uh, for the HCH2.